So you clicked on the video because you want to know more about my lab rat that got mutated after I painted the toenails pink and it didn't like it and it got mad and angry and big and it turned into a roll rat? Well, you came to the right place because I'm gonna tell you how to get your own mutated lab rat, what kind of abilities it has and some awesome tricks that you can do with it. So let's dig right into this video and let's get started. And what do you feed those naked mole rats or roll rats, whatever you want to call them? <laughs> you need to feed them honey. Just be sure, uh, yeah, you need to be safe. So I'm gonna get rid and oh my god. And I'm going to die without any suits on. Well, I think I can make it. I think I can make it. Yes, I made it. So, no bees. Those bees around. Nope. So, uh, yeah, you, you can be naked and, and you can still grab it. But yeah, you need honey for it. Honey is the best thing. And after honey uh, comes the berries. So the mincho berries and then the normal berries. Alrighty, where to find the roll rats? Well, you can find them uh, pretty much everywhere on the map. So that is not the hardest thing. Uh, how to tame them? Well, like I said, with honey or uh, at least according to the shorts, also with mincho berries or other berries. So we're gonna test that out. Um, yeah, we have uh, some roll rats here. I spawned them in just for the sake of testing uh, things out. So uh, let's try honey. Let's throw it away. There it goes. Uh, come on. Why do you walk away from the honey? There, right in front of you. What? What? Don't you like it? Hello? Oh, it ate it. Okay. And no taming process. What? Uh, okay, that is a little bit weird, isn't it? Well, the thing is, they need to bury, uh, be buried under the ground. So we have to wait until uh, one of them goes under the ground and then we have to throw it into the hole. Okay, it is now going down. So throw it again. Right in the hole. It is coming up. And there it is. 10.4% tamed. So it did just ate something. And now we think, well, taming started, isn't it? Now I'm gonna throw one again. And... Uh, <laughs> okay, th this, this one is a little bit weird. Why, why isn't it not catching up? Well, maybe this one is uh, just a little bit annoying. I don't know. <laughs> okay, now I want to test it out if we can do this with berries. Yes, there it goes. Okay, so the middle is over there. So we're gonna throw the meteor berries. Did you eat the meteor berries? N no, you. Okay. And we lost taming effectiveness, of course, because this was the moment to feed it, and we didn't feed it on time. Okay, let's see if we can throw something then at you. Okay, did you eat it? No, also not. What? What is up with the meteor berries? I wanna know. I wanna know. I wanna know. Alrighty, I spawned some extra in just to have a bigger chance on uh, them getting into the ground or getting it faster and uh, testing it out with the berries because I don't think the berries will work or my timing is off. So uh, go on the ground, one of you. Come on. Don't look at me. Yeah, just like that. Okay. And throw it away. I think I... No, I did it wrong. Okay. Okay, this one is on the ground. Please, throw. Okay, we did it on time. And other berries gone. No, they are not gone. Yes, there it goes again. Come on, and throw it away. Right on top of it. We were on time, and it didn't take the berries. So, I don't know uh, how they can say you can tame it with berries, because, well, for me it doesn't work. At least, uh, yeah, not in my case. So let's test it out again when they are in the ground uh, with honey. And let's see if my taming is off or something. Uh, I don't know what is up with this, but uh, it is a little bit weird. So that one is going into the ground. So let's see. I'm gonna throw it. Are we still on time? Are we still on time? Yes, we are still on time. So... Um, with my timing, uh, with the throwing the berries, it is fine. Let's see if they are under the ground and we can hand feed them. Uh, maybe that is possible. So let's put the uh, major berries on this item slot. Uh, sometimes that is the case with passive taming because we cannot passive tame them now. Also not when I put honey for example here. There is no, no indicator like uh, you can tame it this way. 
Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Okay. Can we see something? Nope. 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 No indicators, so yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, and then something else. On the wiki it says that uh, if you started feeding it, so if you started taming it, after the first time don't feed it again until the third time it uh, burrows under the ground. It says that uh, when you do it the second time it will reduce the, the taming stuff. So we have to test it out because it also reduces the taming uh, process when you don't feed it. Okay, there we go. So this should be the first. Oh, you, you're a little bit annoying. You, you big one. Can you uh, pull away? Yeah. <laughs> so we we fed it one time, and uh, now we're gonna wait. Okay, I just throw it away. It is over there. Did you grab it? It is now at 20.8. All right, here is another test victim. One of my test lab rats. <laughs> Okay, there it goes. I dropped it down. It should eat it indeed. Yes, it worked. So now we're gonna feed it, the, not the second time, but we're gonna feed it the third time. Okay, so as you can see, the taming effectiveness went down to 8.1 because we didn't feed it the second time, but now we're gonna feed it the third time. Okay, there it goes. We threw it away. It ate it, and it is at 18.5. So, uh, don't use the method that they say on the wiki. Alrighty, and once you have a beautiful lab rat for yourself tamed, what do you need to feed it? Well, it prefers honey, but it also eats berries. So, we're gonna shove some berries in it. And as you can see, it started eating. And also, these yellow berries, it also starts eating that. But it prefers honey. And as you can see, the, <laughs> the honey is gone and it food went up much more. So, uh, yeah, that is what it prefers. You can feed it honey, but you can also feed it just berries. And of course, you need a saddle for it to ride it. On level 50... Oh my god, Iguana done, go away. <laughs> On level 58, you can unlock the Roll Red Saddle. And what you need for it is 85 semantic paste, 150 fiber... 45 green gems, height 270, and metal ingots 425. I believe this is the same uh, amount as for the basilisk. Let's check it out quickly. And yeah, that is the same thing. Okay, and check how it looks. Isn't this a cool, cool one? So you can sit on it with, uh, I, uh, let's see, with three people, I think, or with six people. Oh, passenger seats, what, what is it? Ah. Uh, See, you can uh, sit on six of them. So now we're sitting on number six. How does it look? Can we go in K mode? No, we cannot go in K mode. Why can't we go in K mode? That is just weird. So seat number six is right uh, after the rider. So number two would be all the way in the back. No, in the middle. Oh my god, this is a little, 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 little bit weird. Three is all the way in the back then. Yeah, okay. <laughs> The only thing is when you have it tamed, I couldn't find any button to burrow it under the ground again. And as you can see here, uh, yeah, it doesn't say anything. And then it is time to check out the special ability of this one. Check it out! How awesome is that animation? I love that animation. So uh, you roll with secondary attack. And once you are rolling, uh, you can roll uh, through uh, rocks, uh, trees and all that kind of things. You demolish it all. Uh, you can hurt creatures after a while of rolling if you uh, get momentum. Um, the saddle, the durability of the saddle, uh, you will lose durability of it. It's the first time that we will lose durability. So if you use this a lot, yeah, eventually your saddle will break. The turning radius for this creature when you're rolling is really sharp, as you can see here. Uh, yeah, really sharp turns. And uh, that is really nice. And oh, what happened? I think I bumped into something. <laughs> well, once you're rolling and you bump into something, it will stop rolling. And the nice thing is, when you're rolling, you can jump. So press the, the space, yeah, for PC space, for, uh, press the jump button when you're rolling and you can jump. Okay, with primary attack, you can get a berries from bushes. Uh, once you're rolling, you will not gather anything, you will just destroy it. But you can also gather a lot of wood from the trees and some thatch. So this would be your mammoth or, uh, yeah, your, your beaver. 
and the weight of the wood is the same as on you. Sadly, uh, yeah, the weight of the creature is not high, so if you want to have a wood gatherer, you can use this one, but you need to level up weight a little bit more. Okay, I want to see uh, what the fall damage can be. So, uh, let me show you the health of this one. I'm gonna punch it a little bit. And the health is going down. So, now we're gonna roll. There we go. Are we gonna take any fall damage? No, we did not take any fall damage. Oh, this is a big drop. There we go again. There we go again. Not a good choice. Not a good choice at all. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, th <laughs> this was really a bad idea. But we didn't take any fall damage. And just to show you... Uh, see it fly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. <laughs> just to show you that we were not in god mode with this one. Uh, let's head back up and uh, let me uh, damage it. Because, uh, yeah, some people say, well, you were cheating. So, 5049. We hit it a couple of times. And as you can see, the health is going down. So, uh, when you're rolling and for the first time you land and you're still rolling, you don't take any fall damage at all. But when you drop down like this and you're not rolling, you will take fall damage. I bet you, you will take fall damage. As you can see here. <laughs> not much, because uh, it could easily kill me. We didn't get killed. But still, uh, we lost a lot of health. We lost uh, about half our health all the way from up there. So, I really think this is an awesome creature to have. Just don't steal the gems of the wild ones, because they will kill you. <laughs> So yeah, that's it for this video. I want to wish you all good luck with taming your own lab rats. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. Do you have any thoughts about this video or whatever in the comment below? And as always, if you haven't already and want to see more from me in the future, then smash that subscribe button like a maniac. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.